In this series, I'm going over the 8th, the fastest moving rowing boat there is. And in this video, I'm going over seat 6, 5, 4, and 3. Welcome to the engine room. So before I talk about the seats individually, I've got to talk about the concept of the bins. Now what are the bins? Basically, <laughs> the beans, also known as sending, is the ability to produce a sheer amount of power over a period of time, also known as watts. Ah! Yes, the reason it's called the engine room is it's the widest part of the boat where the big boys can put their heads down and get to work, moving the heavy object, which is the boat, as fast as they can. Okay, so let's get on to it. The six seat. Congratulations, if you're in the six seat, you're that guy. The six seat is the best seat in the house, hands down. They're the true rhythm keeper of the boat. They're far enough up where they can adjust and have a say on the rhythm. It's really the six seat's interpretation of the rhythm that gets set down to the rest of the crew. To get in this seat, you have to be extremely strong, extremely reliable, and just overall a good person for everyone else to follow. Usually it's a captain like a figure, although it doesn't really have to be like that. The five seat is also usually pretty cracked, but no one really cares. <laughs> Together, five and six are the backbone of the boat. Without them being super reliable and checked in, the whole thing crumbles. Right, now for three and four. Just relax and fall, okay? One, two, three. No, wait, no, no! So, as a person who's previously been in the four seat for a while, I know that the four seat and the three seat get a lot of chat. The three seat in particular, the reason is because this is the widest part of the boat where there is no tech required whatsoever. You can basically just put it in and pull, is the common consensus of this seat. And it's not entirely true. It's still just the same as every other seat in the boat, but you can feel slightly less because you have less people following you and you don't have to deal with what the bow pair have to deal with, which is what I'm gonna do in a separate video. In the best boats, the three and four are super strong, maybe not as tacky, but just absolute dogs willing to work till the end of the day and more. In the not so good boats, three and four are usually absolute clowns who are messing about. Right, that's all for today. Like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.